Hey, what's up guys? Buttery Butters here, welcome you to the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Last episode, we sauteed a bunch of vegetables and birds while we took care of Sprout Tower and the first gym. In this episode, the only reason I have not already gone off screen to heal up is because I forgot that this happens. One of the Kimono Girls. Hand it from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm and from Professor Elm to you, yet no one cares about this egg. Truly important egg, and you want me to take good care of it for you. Um, okay, so that means I can't fry it and eat it? Oh well. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go heal up off screen, and I'll meet you right back at this very spot. See, told you I'd meet you right back at this spot. Anyway, we're all healed up, so without further ado, let's get out of here. Cutting out all random battles and every single trainer battle, since these are all relatively useless trainer battles. This guy, however, is important. What's the hurry? Good Pokemon must be training game member of Island City, blah blah blah. He gives you a Miracle Seed, which is utterly useless to me since I don't plan on having any grass types in my party at all, so yay. And this is what I mean by the graphics glitching. You see those trees on my right? In between the two columns of trees, it seems like there's graphical glitches for me. I have no idea what causes them. Could just be playing at such a high resolution. I noticed that graphical glitch. Oh jeez. Alright, that was just a level 6 bell sprout. Pokemon here are getting higher in levels, so that's nice. Ah, no! Ah, the repels I bought are gonna be used for Dark Cave and not this, but anyway, I'm gonna be fighting this guy off screen since, again, he's a useless youngster. And you can skip him, so. He had a level 6 Rattata and a level 8 Zubat, so these trainers are getting tougher. This woman here, I believe, has a level 9 Nidorian female, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, she, uh. She wants to know everything we've seen, unlike last generation where you could actually fight this woman, you can't actually fight her now, so NO you don't get my number! Anyway, yet yeah, her Nidoran was actually level 8, not level 9, so even more useless than I thought. Hooray for a free repel, sweet! Not using it though, I have to save my repels for upcoming dungeons, so... Oh no. <sighs> Cutting out everything because I want to try to get through Dark Cave and into Azalea Town today, so... I'd like to do that all in one battle. So, we're going to fight this guy off screen as well. He's essentially the counterpart of that other lady. He has a level 9 Nidoran male. Yeah, for some reason he has a level 9 Nidoran male, but she only had a level 8. Anyway, there is a great ball up there, and uh, hopefully I don't have to cut out any random battles here, and sweet. I will be fighting all those fishermen off screen. One of them has. Four magic harps, three level five, one level fifteen. One of them has a level nine Goldeen, and one of them has a two level eight Wally uh, Poliwags. Oh darn it! I forgot to mention that last fight, Cyndaquil grew up. Uh, Quolvia, Quolava. There we are. I keep forgetting to pronounce his name correctly. He grew to level fifteen in that last fight, so that's awesome. Ooh, Bullet Seed, utterly useless, but it's new to this version of the game, so that's awesome. Anyway, it's basically the Grass Step Fury swipes. So, yep, useless. Eee, no random battles. This guy's easy to actually avoid since he's moving on a clocked interval, but I'm going to fight him anyway, so I'll see you guys in a second. Probably the most challenging trainer on this route, he has a level 10 whooper. But even with a water gun, it only did about 10 damage to Pulvia, so that's nice. Anyway, this guy will try to sell you a slowpoke tail, don't bother. On Fridays, you can find Freda, and she'll give you a poison bar, which would be nice considering one of my future Pokemon is actually going to be having poison moves, so I'm going to go ahead and fight these guys off screen and I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. You can teach me to fish well in exchange for phone numbers. No! There's only one fisherman whose number I want. Anyway, his Goldeen was actually level 10, not level 9, so I was wrong. I believe this is the Magic Carp Trainer, so oh dear god. Jesus Christ, four magic carps, really? Anyway, this little guy grew level 14 and learned Thunder Wave. Sweet. Freshly caught Pokemon! Hey, does that mean we get to fry them up? Serve them with some nice chips and mashed potatoes? Uh, I gotta stop talking about eating Pokemon. Two level 8 Poliwags will not help you, good sir. Let's see, I got 10 minutes left. That should be more than enough time to get me to the next town, especially if I cut out all the random battles and such. Anyway, there's one more trainer down here. And he's a bird trainer with a Pidgey and a Spearow, so I will see you guys at the end of that battle. What? Yay, he's evolving! He grew to level 15 in that fight! He had two level 6 Pidgeys and a level 8 Spearow, enough to get Flaffy here to level 15! And in episode 4, I already get to change Flaffy's graphic to Flaffy! Yes, I gave it away. 
I meant to say change Mary's graphic to Flappy, but... Well. I never said I was good at commentary. See? There he is. so cute, isn't he? Time to go back in the Pokeball. Alright, I'm going to burn through Rock Cave, but first I'm going to go into the Pokemon Center. There's a fisherman in there that will give you the old rod. I'll do that off screen. So I will see you guys when I'm out of the Pokemon Center and healed up. Alright, we are healed up and we are ready to get moving. So, without further ado, Dark Cave. Union Cave, rather. I don't know why I kept saying Dark Cave. Anyway, cutting out all random battles and every single trainer battle, including this one. That was a Sand Shrew, this game's ex uh, version exclusive Pokemon. If you were playing Soul Silver, you could find Ekans in the next route. Both of them relatively useless, in my opinion. Anyway, looks like you have to fight that guy now, or you, you can if you wish. Anyway, there is an item up here, an X attack. I should probably rush through this a little quicker by running, but that doubles your encounter rate if I remember rightly. I believe this guy has a Vulpix or a Coughing, so... Let's just fight him and get it over with. Alright, sorry about the long wait, although it's no wait to you. He had a level 9 Vulpix. I had to talk to a friend of mine. It was kind of important, actually, so that's why I stopped recording for a bit, but I'm back. Anyway, there's some items you can get. Oh, this section of Union Cave has higher level Pokemon, level 8 generally. You can also find Onyx in this section. You can get Team 39 Rock Tomb. Not bad, but it's too inaccurate for my liking. As a matter of fact, I'll show you it. There, a Rock Tomb. Only 10 power points and 80 accuracy with 50 power. Definitely not worth it. It gets better in future generations where they up it to 85 accuracy. <sighs> Zubats are forever. And an next defend. That TM Rock Tomb used to be Swift, which I personally would have liked more. There we are. Now, let's get through as much of this as we can. Oh, no. Wow, Sandshrew really wants to be on my team. Not happening. Although, I could use a Cut Sleeve. Time to fight an Onyx! That Onyx was level 11. Took three embers to take him down, but oh well. Anyway, time to fight four Geodudes! Joy! There's actually two level 6 Geodudes and a level 8 Geodude. Fun times. Fun times. Time to fight- oh god. Before I was so rudely interrupted, it's time to fight a Cuffing! Yeah, I know, I'm gonna jump cut twice in the span of 30 seconds. Alright, that was two level 6 coughings, and now Kobe is level 17. Starting to get a bit overleveled here, but that's because I only have two team members, so... Oh well, Flaffy can take care of the next trainer. I believe there's only one more trainer in this entire place, which is wonderful. Just fantastic. I think there's an item up there. So many random battles. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. That's because I forgot to do this. Yay. Now I won't have to do any jump cuts for the next hundred steps or so. Yeah, you potion! Sweet. Which is annoying because I just bought some potions. Oh, Jesus Christ! He has a slowpoke, by the way, which is why Flaffy is out. Level 11 slowpoke versus level 11, uh, level 15 Flaffy. No contest. Anyway, there's some uh, place you can surf to down there, and then you can uh, explore a much larger selection of the cave. Oh boy, I'm not using another repel right now. Ooh, an awakening. Awesome. Oh no. Ugh, Jesus Christ. So many Geodudes, but we're finally out. And it's always raining here, by the way. If you're playing Soul Server, you can find Ekans in this grass, so otherwise it's just the same Pokemon you could find in the group before Union Cave. There's a pink and black Apricorn down there, and this guy will have a Geodude and an and a Machop, and I don't remember which one he starts with, so hopefully he doesn't start off with you, dude. He did, in fact, start off with you, dude. Uh, no, I don't want information from you. I think he occasionally tells you when there are Dunsparce in Dark Cave, but don't really care about that. Let's just head into Azalea Town. You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? Broke up a while ago? Come on, give me a break. We're not broken up. Well, actually, we did once, but we've come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. And I was talking. Just shut up and beat it. How? I just witnessed an assault. You assaulted a man. You are not a good Samaritan. And why is Samaritan capitalized? It's not a proper noun. Slowbook have disappeared from town. Their tales are being sold. Anyway, you can go in here for some charcoal at a later point. It's the charcoal hut. Are there playing somewhere? 
Apparently, these guys are all worried about the forest protector, and I love the new layout of the charcoal hut. You can't go into the gym right now, and uh, in order to continue, you need to go to Kurt's house, which is right up here, but we are not doing that, even though I still have another four minutes left to record. I'm going to make this episode a short one. I did not realize all the jump cuts would make this so short. In the next episode, we're going to free the Slowpokes from Slowpoke Well and fight the gym leader, hopefully all in the same episode. So hopefully by episode... I don't even know what this is. Yeah, hopefully by episode 5, we'll already have two gym badges. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Oh.